Hello everyone, we got extra news for today's video. We can see here from blockchain backer, after losing 96% GameStop stock, price surges to record highs. Just 18 months ago, GameStop was in financial woes, closing hundreds of stores. GME crashed to $2.60 just 10 months ago. Today, it closed at an all-time high of $65.01. Never forget this is possible. Guys, <laughs> this is crazy. So we see GameStop stock right here. By the looks of it, look what it just done, guys. Look at this skyrocket that it just had. Now, if this is a stock, imagine. Imagine what XRP can do, guys. Imagine what XRP can do. Look at that. Imagine what XRP can do guys. I mean this was a I just want to do this very quick This was from about 20 cents to three dollars and 30 cents. It was about a 1400 percent move up and remember this is just a stock and This is an actual cryptocurrency, which is very more volatile guys But again, I was watching BC backers video today on him telling how he's going to be selling when everyone else will be saying, you know, all these crypto will go to the moon, a lot of money and things like those. And, and how when we will be in a bear market, how he will not post like all the time. Now, I was thinking about this a, a while back as well. When we when we are in a bear market, guys, I think after this bull run, I don't know about my YouTube channel, honestly. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know. What I'm going to be doing in the bear market. I think I'm going to just stop 100% doing YouTube uh, on the cryptocurrency side of things. Because remember what Baba Cooks, I remember that one tweet from Baba Cooks a while back ago. Baba Cooks, I'm pretty sure it was from Baba Cooks, I don't know, but he said that when this is all done and everything takes place, a lot of people will move on with their lives. When XRP does reach all these crazy numbers, one digit, two digit, three digit, four digit, five, who really knows? But then everyone will move on. Whatever is taking place right now will be in the history books. Now, I'm still thinking about what I'll do with my YouTube channel, what I'm going to be doing and all those things. But I think I'll be stopping when the bear market does come. We'll see though, we'll see. If we go to Gold Telegraph Suite, breaking news. The Bank for International Settlements Hub Center in Singapore has been tasked with building an international settlement platform. Purpose, allow regulated banks and payment firms to settle transactions using different central bank digital currency. There we go, guys. In front of our eyes, once again, what do we see here? BIS. And that was on the thumbnail for today's earlier video. Again, BIS is huge, guys. Remember, allow regulated banks and payment firms to settle transactions using different central bank digital currency now that is a cbdc again cbdc's central bank digital currencies are coming into the play guys remember this is huge this year will be crazy to say the least if we go to the next year from woodman xrp has one of the fastest growing user bases in the crypto industry and the upcoming spark token by flare networks will accelerate this growth even further that's why our institutional clients are especially interested in ripple and there we go guys again and that is why XRP will be the bridge for everything and all targeted towards all the money because remember Flare Spark will add XRP even more utility on top of XRP's already crazy utility it has right now. Bank Bank XRP Suite out cross border CBDC DLT projects planned by Central Bank Innovation Hub. Let's check this out. Today the BIS Innovation Hub outlined its roadmap of work with central banks which includes several central bank digital currency cbdc projects as well as distributed ledger technology dlt solution for retail green bonds four projects were outlined two are new initiatives and three are for wholesale cbdc's or bank to bank usage retail retail cbdc interesting guys now this is I can't fathom it. Honestly, we have been waiting for so long, but it looks like everything is coming together. Retail CBDCs, the upcoming retail project, will be based in Hong Kong and is focused on the 
the distributor of a retail CBDC via banks and payment service providers. Plans involve trailing a hybrid CBDC as well as private CBDC backed stable coins. Below is a BIS graphic published last year on different types of CBDCs. Central bank digital currencies, guys. We can see what is taking place over here. A lot of different CBDCs will come into the place by the looks of it. A lot of innovation and adoption is taking place before our very eyes. If we go to the next year from Assets Daily, the Central Bank of Central Banks is building a CBDC settlement platform. The Central Bank of Central Banks is building a CBDC settlement platform. CBDC research has been announced as a top priority for the Bank for International Settlements Innovation Hub, or BIC, in 2021. According to its annual work program, BIC plans to explore the feasibility of faster and cheaper cross-border payments using central bank digital currencies. BIC also stated it will explore prototypes of tiered retail CBDC distribution architectures and distributed ledgers to issue tokenized green bonds to retail investors. The BIS initiatives will be driven by the innovation hub centers in Hong Kong, Singapore, and Switzerland, which have been established in conjunction with local central banks. The BIC Center in Singapore has been tasked with building an international settlement platform on which regulated banks and payment firms can settle transactions using different CBDCs. The Hong Kong Center will work on the Green Bond Tokenization Project, in addition to building a bridge to facilitate foreign exchange transactions using CBDCs, and exploring different models for stablecoin issuance. BIC's Swiss Center has already completed two proofs of concept linking existing payment systems to trial settling tokenized assets using wholesale CBDC through its Project Halvisha initiative. BIC head, Ben Wachauer, said. This work program shows our commitment to exploring in the most practical ways how best to harness technological change for the benefit of central banks and create public goods to support the global financial system. In November, BIS recommended embedded reporting requirements for prospective stablecoin issuers, advocating for automated data sharing processes between issuers and regulators. Again guys, look at what is taking place in front of our eyes. Variety of CBDC trials worldwide this year. A lot of innovation. If we go to Ripple Suite through RippleNet, mobile money and Bcash power seamless e-payment solutions with increased connectivity between Malaysia and Bangladesh. We are constantly exploring innovative ways to give simple solutions to our customers. Bcash is happy to have partnered with Ripple in collaboration with Mutual Trust Bank of Bangladesh to deliver a cost-effective, fast, transparent and reliable remittance sending experience to more than 10 million non-resident Bangladeshis all over the world. This partnership would bring great convenience to both the recipients and senders and contribute further to our national economy by encouraging inward foreign remittance flow through legal channels. Again guys, has been providing simple, cost-effective and convenient e-payment solutions to our customers. Guys, look what is taking place. More innovation and more adoption. A lot, guy. A lot seems to be happening behind the scenes. If we go to the next year from Valgesser, like any more obvious, we can see right here. If we fail to act, there will be a wave of evictions and foreclosures in the coming months, uh, as this pandemic rages on. Because there's nothing we can do to change the trajectory of the pandemic in the next several months. Wow, guys, will you look at that? If we go down here, stock market legend sees few weeks of putting your last desperate chips into, and. It looks like the economy is about to crash soon, guys. What will take place? Comment your predictions below. Well, Sinasuito, Yellen says cryptocurrencies could improve the U.S. financial system. We consider the benefits of cryptocurrencies and other digital assets and the potential they have to improve the efficiency of the financial system. There we go, guys. 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 The financial system, the new financial system, the new financial system that will be in place very soon. Remember, the economy collapses first, then XRP takes everything, which is the bridge to every asset. Interesting stuff to say the least. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe if you guys are ready. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. And you guys, see ya.